Hello, Steel with ShowTix for you. Thanks for joining us. We're going to take a look at the POS terminal today and how to set it up and use it with your ShowTix for you website. So the POS terminal is going to offer new payment methods for your patrons, including tap, chip, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and your traditional swiping of credit cards. It's extremely secure. It's going to really speed up your at-door sales, and it's going to take your organization to the next level. So let's look at the requirements for using the POS terminal. The first is a computer or mobile device. The POS terminal is actually going to connect directly with the ShowTix for You website. You're not going to need to download any applications. The POS terminal connects using Wi-Fi, so you're going to need a Wi-Fi connection. And it's important to note that the computer or mobile device that you're using with the ShowTix for You website and the POS terminal need to be on the same network. Last but not least, least, you need a current browser. So make sure you update your browser that's running the ShowTix for You website. There's three steps to using the POS terminal. The first is registering. This is a one-time setup. This is going to connect your POS terminal you purchased to your specific ShowTix for You account. Now you can actually register your POS terminal to multiple ShowTix for You accounts, but you can only have a POS terminal connected to one ShowTix for You account at a time. So you would need to unregister it from your account if you wish to use that piece of hardware, that POS terminal, on a different ShowTix for You account. The second step is the connection step. This is where you assign a user or a logged in session to a specific POS terminal that you have registered. This allows you to own multiple POS terminals and to assign a specific POS terminal to a specific user on a given day for a given session. Only one user can be connected to a POS terminal at a time. Now that user could disconnect from the terminal and a different user could connect to it. The last step is actually processing transactions using your POS terminal. So let's go to the first step of actually registering your POS device. Once you receive your POS terminal, you're gonna to wanna to power it on and you're gonna to wanna to log in to your ShowTix for You website. Now, you need to be logged in with a client level access to the website, access the main menu, choose preferences, and POS terminal. Now, on the POS terminal screen, you're gonna click the add a new device button. Now, on your actual POS terminal that you're seeing on the screen right now, you're gonna to wanna to swipe from left to right. This is gonna take you to the settings screen. Click on settings, and it's gonna ask you to enter your admin pin. This admin pin can be found back on the ShowTix for You website on the POS terminal screen. Now go ahead and enter your admin pin. And you're gonna see on your POS device some admin options you're gonna choose generate pairing code. You're gonna be displayed three different dictionary words. You're now gonna to return to the ShowTix for You website and you're gonna enter these dictionary words into the registration code field. Once you've entered these words, you can now label this device. I'm gonna call this device POS1. Now I recommend that you use a label maker and actually put that label on the POS device. This is how you're going to be able to recognize the label on the ShowTix for You website to the actual POS device. Now go ahead and click register. It's going to say the registration successful and on the actual POS you're going to see it registering and updating the device. You're going to uh, see the show ticks for you splash screen. Now this show ticks for you splash screen can actually be customized and it can be branded for your organization. If you visit our help article, you can get the specs for this graphic and how to upload it. Now, if you look back on the show ticks for you website, you're going to see the label POS one. 
the ID, the IP address, and the serial number. If you wish to unregister or remove this terminal from your account, you can simply click the Remove Terminal button. This would allow you to register this POS terminal to a different Showtix View account. Now we've actually registered the device and we're going to now look at the connection process. Now remember, connecting is assigning a specific POS terminal to a specific user and that logged in session. Now there's multiple ways to connect to a specific POS terminal. The first is by presetting the connection. So on this same POS terminal screen, you're going to see a button that says make default terminal. This is going to connect this POS terminal that you're seeing on the screen right now to my logged in session. Now, if I logged out, I would not be connected to this specific device. Again, this connection process is so that you can assign a specific POS terminal, if you have multiple, to this specific logged in session. So again, clicking the make default button will connect and preset the connection. Another option that you have is if you return to the box office, you can connect to this device when you run your first POS terminal transaction for that logged in session. So if I click buy tickets and add some tickets into my cart, in the payment method dropdown list, you're going to see POS terminal. Because I'm not connected to a terminal, it's going to ask me which of my POS terminals I want to connect to. I'm going to say that I want to connect to POS 1, the one you're seeing on the screen, for this logged in session. Once I've chosen POS 1, I'm not going to need to do this step again unless I log out of the Show Ticks for You website. It's going to connect to this POS terminal, and if it's successful in connecting, you're going to see a green bar above the POS terminal drop down list. That's all you need to do to connect to a POS terminal. Now, let's take a look at the step of processing an actual POS terminal order. So, I've chosen POS terminal from the payment drop down list. When I click customer information, if you look at the actual POS terminal, you're going to see that the patron will be displayed the actual cart. They can pre-dip or use their credit card now while you're completing the order, which will even speed up the process more. On the Show Ticks for You website, you're going to choose the patron that you're running this order for, and you're going to click checkout. You're going to see on the POS terminal, the screen will change and it will instruct the patron to use their credit card. So we're now going to tap our credit card and you're going to see on the Show Ticks for You website, if it's successful, you'll see a confirmation where you can simply print their tickets and then move on to the next order. So it's that simple to process orders using the POS terminal. Now let's talk about accounting. So if you return to the box office, click on the gear of your event and choose account report, you can see a total of all your POS terminal transactions for that specific, specific event. Your other option is to access the main menu, accounting balances. There you can look at a specific payout and the terminal transactions that are a part of that payout. More information on this can be found in our FAQ under balances. So that's all there is to using the POS terminal. I hope it was useful for you and have a wonderful season. Thank you.